We won't go until you bring some. We won't go until <laughs> yeah, you bring like, some. Not leave. They're like, I'm not leaving your doorstep till you bring me some figgy pudding, okay? 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. God lint stockings, hot cocoa. Egg knock, Santa in the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Hello, vlog. Um, baby. This doesn't work. We are kind of cleaning up the house because the cleaners are coming today. We're tidying up the house because you know you clean the house before someone else cleans it weird concept we just baked cookies today actually because i knew that the cleaners were coming so i made these little vegan snowball cookies they're pretty good i remember getting these in the things that people would bake for you growing up with the christmas cookies i just looked up vegan snowball cookie recipe if you guys are trying to make them they have like little pecans in them but really excited for the cleaning people to come they come about like once a month and i'm so grateful for them I'm just getting ready right now still my pjs tidying that all up and then we're gonna head out so yeah i'm gonna go get ready and everything but i actually just got a package in from misguided with a bunch of like winter coats and things so i wanted to do a little try on haul for you guys i'm gonna do a quick haul of that stuff because it always sells out really fast i think today we are since we have to be out of the house like while the cleaners are here we're gonna go get some food and then we think we're gonna try our first mukbang i want to say mukbang because i think that sounds better but i know it's not the right word but having a little bit of a little bit of a quail moment with the hair which is fine because you know, I love quail. They're like my favorite bird, but I don't always want to look like one. So, just taking a little finishing cream and trying to fix this situation. I don't know if that made it worse or better. I just got in some pieces from Misguided, some winter pieces. Actually, like a lot of coats. Winter is just about here. So, I want to do a little haul and share with you guys what I got. They always have such cute pieces and they sell out really fast, so... Just gonna do kind of like a casual little mini haul of what I got, and I'm just gonna be like a little bit of a quail the whole time. So, hope you guys like quail as much as I do. For starters, I picked up this pair of faux leather pants. So these aren't really leggings, they're actually pants. They have the button and the zipper and everything, and I got these in a zero. I've been wearing so many faux leather leggings, and it's kind of been like my go-to for styling so far for winter and fall. So I wanted to get this pair that's more like pants, I'm a little more... I don't know, like legit than leggings, a little more dressed up, I guess. And then I got this crop leather top as well. It's kind of like a little mock neck and then it's got some details on the sleeves and it zips up the back so you don't have to like ruin your makeup when you're putting it on, which is really nice. And I'd probably just style this with some black boots as well. And I love the leather on leather. Okay, and like I mentioned, I got a lot of coats just kind of prepping for winter. So I picked up this puffer. It is a metallic rose color, and I forget what other color it came in on the website. I think maybe it was like a shiny black or a silver, and this one was like the least typical for me to go after but I was really drawn to this color for some reason so I had to have this one. I got this in a size US 4 which is what I normally get at Misguided 4 jackets. I like them to be a little oversized so like my true size would probably be a 2 but I like it one size up to a 4. Alright so this is what it looks like on. I think it's so cute and fun. Uh, puffers are obviously perfect for winter. I like these up. And they're super in this year as well. And I kind of like how it's a little bit like futuristic feeling. And I think it will be really cute actually with like full leather pants or leggings and a turtleneck and a beanie, some snow boots, something like that. I'm probably gonna head up to snow to the Tahoe area later this month. So this is like kind of the vibe. I hope I'll be dressing like it there. And then this next jacket I picked out is also kind of just like fun and funky. I got this in a size US 4 again, which I'm pretty sure is the only size I've ever gotten in jackets at Misguided. And this is like a hybrid of a faux leather jacket, like a biker jacket, and a fuzzy jacket, which are two of my favorite kinds of outerwear. So I'm pretty obsessed with this. It's got the details of the faux fur kind of on half of the vest and then the faux leather. And then on the sleeves, it's like 
mostly faux fur, but it has just a little bit of the faux leather and it's really bright. So I just love the contrast of it. I think it's really fun and funky and cute. And it's got the little belt at the bottom as well. I feel like it looks really expensive, but it's obviously very affordable. So this is just a fun piece. I'm excited to style it probably with denim or faux leather pants and just keep it kind of simple because this has a lot going on on the top. Okay, next we're gonna give these pants their own moment because they are so good. So as you guys probably know, split hem pants are super in lately so this pair was very unique I haven't seen one quite like these yet this is a nice kind of like creamy taupey beige color high-waisted faux leather and they're kind of like a slimmer fit and they have the slit at the bottom it looks so good with heels or booties and they're very flattering as well nice and slimming and they're just really cool so picked these up got these in a size zero which is what i normally get in pants there and they fit really nicely so i'm gonna try on a little coat that goes with this now okay i absolutely love this combo together these pants i have on with the little camel booties and then this jacket is a nice like cinched puffer so it has a little waist belt on it that you can make as tight as you please and then um, it also has a hood and it's nice like creamy buttery kind of golden color which i think is such a pretty color and i love the way it looks with these pants there's a lot of nice textures going on and it feels very weather appropriate as well but still Still, like flattering and cute which can be pretty hard to do during the winter so I'm really stoked about this outfit and I got a size 4 in this jacket per usual but this is the last little outfit that I'm gonna share with you guys so I actually got a size 2 in this jacket this is a little cropped puffer and since it's cropped I got it too because I'm only 5'4 so I didn't want it to look like just an awkward length I guess so it is nice and cropped and it comes with this like monochrome misguided it's very dark Okay, so it comes with this monogrammed misguided print all over it. It's a nice dusty pink color, and then this is just like a nice creamy white. The text, and then these are matching kind of like almost windbreaker material joggers. So again, I had this in mind for my little snow adventures. I feel like this is kind of like a chic, almost like street style version of kind of just like a chic, funky street style snow version. So something a little fun and different. I got a zero in these pants, I believe. They have pockets. Again, this would look super cute with like moon boots, snow boots, anything like that. And I'm ready for my winter adventure. Okay, so everything will be linked in the description box for you guys. You can shop everything down there. And these are fun little winter pieces. So I'll probably be styling these and putting them on Instagram. So make sure to follow there too so you can catch how this looks on the gram because that's always fun and that's it for today's little haul it's actually 100 degrees here today what's the real temperature 75 75 so it's really hot so i cannot wear winter clothes right now and we're gonna go spend some time outside so now bring us some figgy pudding now bring us some figgy pudding isn't that a weird part of that me. song they say we won't go until you bring some. We won't go until <laughs> yeah, you bring they're like, some. Not leave. They're like, I'm not leaving your doorstep till you bring me some figgy pudding, okay? Here. Okay, I made it out of the house just in time for the cleaners. Okay, we're gonna go to Taco Bell right now. <laughs> yeah. Taco Bell is probably like our favorite fast food. Fast food. It's actually the only fast food we eat. Well, we like um, El Pollo Loco too. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they have really good rice. They do El Pollo. Oh, and they have freaking raspberry iced tea. That makes them like. When I was little, I was like really mature. Like, I didn't like little kid things, I feel like. Like, when we got fast food. That is so you. <laughs> when we got fast food, I wanted to go to Wendy's and get a baked potato. What, like, four year old is like, well, I want a baked potato from Wendy's. Only now. you. The one other thing I did eat growing up fast food was the. Cinnamonies from Burger King. Ooh, yeah, I used to do those too. Those were freaking cool. It's weird when you go to college in the same town that you went to high school in because like everything's kind of blurred together. Yeah. At some point in those weird late teens, early twenties, I like to go to McDonald's late at night and get late at night McDonald's soft serve Sunday with the hot fudge. Yeah. And the nuts on top. Yeah. 
That's good. That was I good. wish they would make a vegan of that. I just like their cone. Okay, pulling up to Taco Bell. They have a new green sauce. I might give the green sauce mm. again. You have the you okay. have the order stick ready? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good thing. What can I get for you? Can I please get one uh, black bean crunch wrap supreme with no sour cream and no cheese, please? Uh, one order of cinnamon twists. Uh, make it two orders. Okay. All right, that was wild. I felt like I was ordering for 28 minutes. You got a lot. This is a freaking mukbang. This is a mukbang if you haven't seen it. Ooh, look at this big bag. We're here. We're doing We're it. We're live with a big <laughs> bag of Taco Bell. Taco Bell. These okay, we're saving those for are dessert. Later. This is our first mukbang, and I'm saying so. Bear with us if it's not how you're supposed to do If it's these. not a mukbang, we're not really sure. Uh, I'm gonna start with my little taco. Okay, so the first thing. Oh my god! I'm gonna do is spill everywhere. <laughs> we just got the car cleaned yesterday too. This is great. Your taco just fell out into the no, bag. No, just a little lettuce. The first thing I'm gonna have is the soft taco with black beans, lettuce, and tomato. And I'm doing the mild hot sauce. Also, someone commented recently that I laugh too much at Clayton is gonna be bad for his self-esteem <laughs> or something. And so sad for me. We, we discussed it. I asked him if he thinks it's good for his self-esteem or bad for his self-esteem, how much I laugh. I think it's good. He thinks it's good. I I thought laughing at him was nice. She's not laughing at me, we're just laughing. Well, he likes to make me laugh, he tries to be funny. Well, sometimes he's not trying to be funny, but I still think it's funny. It's mm. a personal problem. I just think everything's funny. It's actually a Sagittarius trait to have a good sense of humor. You think everything's funny. Mm. You like that little taco? Mm -hmm. They used to have a seven layer burrito, they took it away. Now we make our own. Just get a bean and cheese burrito with no cheese and then add rice, guacamole, lettuce, salsa. Salsa. You guys know that rice is my wife. So here she is, a side of rice. When you're loyal to rice, this is what you do. Just get a side of rice. Thank me later. I like this uh, support. I didn't even know Taco Bell could do that until she came around. You want a bite? <laughs> it's good, huh? It is good. Power bowl. I didn't even know Taco Bell had a bowl. Yeah, we have not had this one before. So it has rice, black bean, avocado, and lettuce, and tomato. Okay, right, let's try this again. Pray again. Okay. Okay. What's the vibe? Mm, it's good, but how about we do the green salsa? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. The new green salsa right here. Okay, this little thing's alright. I like the tortilla. I like having a tortilla though more. How's your green sauce? It's good. Okay, this thing's pretty good. Would you get it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably because you don't want to replace anything. Yeah, like I'm not replacing that. Mm -hmm. What's kind of funny is everything we ordered is pretty much the same exact thing yeah. in a different form. But that's kind of what like food is. Italian food is like cheese and tomatoes and flour in some format. It's so saucy. Uh, probably the... I put too much green sauce on it then. Alright, let's give our grades. I'm gonna give the taco an 8. Okay. 8 to 9. 8, 8, 8, 8. I'll leave it at an 8. What do you give the burrito? That Taco Bell didn't make it that good. When I make it good, I give it like an 8. The one I had today was the same. Oh wow! Oh, on a good day, it's only an eight. Not even. Is a this nine. just a Taco Bell scale or like a food scale? This is Taco Bell scale. Oh okay, it could have a nine. Oh, what do you give your rice? Ten. Ten for the rice. She's your wife. Like, how are you not going to give your wife a ten? Okay. She's ten. not my wife. She's your wife. She's my wife. Okay, now what are you gonna give that? What are you gonna give it? This gets a nine too. That's pretty fair. No, you. Well, the burrito, I only had the butt end of it. I would give that one around a seven. You gave it a six, I believe. For today. You know, I'll give the rice another seven. <laughs> rice is only a seven for me. And the bowl, I'm only gonna give like a three. Six, five. Three. And then this will for sure be a 10. How old's your wife? 
This is my wife right here. These look like little pigtails. What do you give these? I give those a 10. This is a good fast food dessert. All right, well, we gotta be out of the house for like another hour. So I think we're gonna go down to the beach. We're gonna go down to the beach. I think we're gonna play a little volleyball, maybe a little football. What is that game, Bump Set Spike? Pepper. Pepper. Let's play Pepper. Ooh. It's actually time to get up after you, freaking mukbang. Crazy mukbang. All right, that was a little crazy. Most Taco Bell I've ever eaten. <laughs> All right, go to the beach. I already found front row parking today. We ride the bike down here a lot too, but today we were in the car, so. Oh, the football right now. Pepper it is. It is really hot today. Beautiful view of Catalina today. Oh, the wave. Oh, oh. oh man, I should be out surfing. It's pumping right now. People are just lounging in their swimsuits. Like, it's an absolutely beautiful day. I might need to get my tan on. I'm gonna show you guys Catalina. This is a beautiful view. That's Catalina. Right there, Catalina Island. Okay, serious question. Do you guys think that's a beautiful view? Because I don't notice stuff like that. Like it's so far away from me. Like I just never even noticed that, but Clayton notices stuff like that so quickly and he thinks it's like so beautiful. But to me, I'm like, I can't even, for me, it's not, it's not much. She's not a fan of landscape views. I'm really not. Like I love looking at mountains in the distance. Like whenever I see a mountain in a distance, I always think it's like the coolest thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that mountain over there. And like, then when it has snow on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at the snow in the mountains. How beautiful. Yeah. I just love it. I like more like detail things, like just closer things, I guess. I think like the, the weirdest thing is like so- Like a wall, like a wall with a window. Yeah. Let's play some Peppa. Just play uh, volleyball in high school for anyone that didn't know. To be on a traveling team, and when I was in my angsty teens, travel angsty. around. Oh, oh barrels! I get barreled. I didn't get barreled that way. The best way. <laughs> oh, I suck! Oh, I suck! <laughs> All right, Delaney's spiking me, and I'm, I'm working on my libero roll. Pretty funny. Nice. Woo! Better. You! Libero is back. <laughs> nice. You're good. Nice. Are you good coaching? Yeah, you're a good coach. How come? You're just like good at volleyball. <laughs> But that doesn't make you a good coach. Yeah, but you were like teaching me and like you're doing good drills and stuff. Like okay. you're a good coach. Seven years into the relationship and I just learned Delaney's a pretty exceptional volleyball coach. I'm so bad. I used you? to be good. She's being hard on herself. She's good. I used to be pretty good. That was my baby. That was a lot of fun. It's good to just pound your arm against the ball. I think we need to try tennis too. I think we can be pretty good at tennis. Okay, back from the beach and the cleaners are all done and they did an absolutely immaculate job. What do you think? I'm just like basking it's in the clean house. So nice. We're so eternally grateful for them and everything they do to help keep our house clean. We would not have a clean house without them. Love you, Manuel. Isn't that right, messmaker? Delaney is CEO of mess making. Maybe. I'm not a messy person, but my oh. job requires me to make messes. Yeah, every task she does, a mess is created. 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. Garland stockings, hot cocoa. Egg dog, Santa, and the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Baby. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.